Hi friends, let's see a problem on Fourier series. The given function is fx equal to x square and is defined in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Step 1. We write on the formula for Fourier series and that is a0 divided by 2 plus sigma n to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n to infinity b n sin n x and we call this as equation number a. Next step, we are going to calculate a0, a n and bn. So what is an? It is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi fx which is x square dx whose integral is x cube by 3 and when we calculate a naught is 8 pi square by 3. Next is an. an is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi fx into cos nx. Now what is fx? x square. So x square into cos nx. Remember the previous video on u into v rule where u is x raised to n and v is any function. So here this is your u and this is your v. So first we write on u as it is and we write integral of cos nx which is sin nx upon n. Then a minus sign we write on derivative of x square which is 2x and integral of sin nx which is minus cos nx divided by n square plus sign derivative of 2x is 2 and integral of this term which is sin nx upon n cube next term the derivative of 2 is going to be 0 so therefore all the terms after this vanish we put that in the box between the limits 0 to 2 pi. When you put the upper limit here, you will get sin 2 n pi which is 0. So first term value is 0. Next minus minus plus 2 into x is replaced by 2 pi. And this will be cos 2 n pi which whose value is 1 divided by n square plus when you put x as 2 pi it will be sin 2 n pi which is 0 so this is 0 minus when you put lower limit in entire of this term this is going to become 0 this is going to become 0 this is going to become 0 so when you calculate all this it comes out to be 4 by n square so we first calculated a naught then we calculated a n next is to calculate b n it is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi fx sin nx dx. 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi. What is fx? It is x square sin nx. Once again I will be using u into v rule where u is x raised to 2. So first I write u as it is that is x square. Integral of sin nx. What is integral of sin nx? It is minus cos nx upon n. Minus. What is derivative of x square? It is 2x. Then integral of this term. Integral of this term is minus sin nx upon n square. Alternate plus minus next is plus. So what is derivative of 2x? It is 2. And integral of this term is cos nx upon n cube. Next term will be having minus sign and the derivative of 2 which is a constant is going to be 0. So all other terms after this is 0. So this is being boxed between 0 to 2 pi. Let's put the upper limit that is 2 pi. So it is 2 pi square and cos of 2 n pi that is going to be 1 divided by n. Then you put minus minus plus. If you put x as 2 pi this is sin 2 n pi which is going to be 0 plus 2 divided by n cube and cos n 2 pi that is cos 2 n pi whose value is 1 so it is 1 by n cube minus when we put lower limit 0 it will become 0 this term will also become 0 and this term will become 2 by n cube so when we simplify this further, this is what we are going to get.
there is one slight correction this would be minus 1 so this is b in value now we got a naught we got a n we got b n now put this value of a naught a n b n into equation a so it was a naught divided by 2 a naught was 8 pi square by 3 so a naught by 2 is 4 pi square upon 3 plus sigma n to infinity a n value into cos n x plus sigma n to infinity b n value into sin n x and that becomes the Fourier series expansion of the given function x square hope you understand the procedure stay tuned good luck